the formidable robot. I remember finding a video in the early days of YouTube, I believe late 2006, named, redmoon.mkv, with its thumbnail showing an unnaturally red moon in the sky at night time. The visual was a bit ominous, and it caught my attention. Going off memory, I think it was around 4 minutes long, and it had a relatively low amount of views for the time, I don't think it went beyond the double digits count. There was no description, no date of upload, and the name of the channel who uploaded it was completely blank, which was extremely odd and it stayed that way even after I reloaded the page. But what I remember most was the video itself. The video was completely red, showing exactly what was written in the title, though the footage appeared to be taken from a highly expensive zoom camera rather than a normal one, given the amount of detail it managed to capture from the lunar surface. I listened to the compressed audio, it was hard to make out, but I concluded that it was being filmed somewhere in a forest because of the wind and cricket sounds, I would also occasionally hear footsteps on the grass as well. Despite its weird nature, it was a rather peaceful video. I remember even giving it 5 stars before it ended. The camera started to zoom out around 2 minutes in, and I got the view of a lake reflecting the red moon along with a dense amount of trees surrounding it. The camera sensor started to slowly adjust to the darkness, making me see more and more details of the lake as well as the trees. Whoever was handling the camera started to walk towards the lake, and as they did, I began to notice something. As the camera's vision got clearer, I could make out a huge amount of logs, furniture, and even the destroyed rooftop of a house in the distance floating down the lake towards the edge where the cameraman was now standing. Whoever was behind that camera seemed unusually calm, showing not even the slightest sign of a human reaction to the situation. It felt so surreal and dreamlike, seeing the remains of that house being dragged across the lake, not to mention the quiet atmosphere which did nothing to help ease the eeriness. But there was still an entire minute left to go. All of the remains of the house started to slowly diverge their own ways, spreading out evenly throughout the lake. Something started to appear amidst the wreckage, it looked just as red as the moon if not more so, but it reflected little to no light. And that was the most fucked up part, though I could see little and recognize it, a body. The closer it got to the edge, the more details I could make out, it had absolutely no skin, there was still blood coming out of it, and it looked like it was mauled to death as the features were completely unrecognizable. Needless to say, I was quite shocked by what I was witnessing, this seemingly innocent video took such a dark turn out of nowhere. But it got worse. Near the end of the video, the body finally touched the edge of the lake, being extremely close to the camera, and as it laid there, the cameraman decided to zoom into its face with the sensor adjusting one final time, revealing an extremely deformed face with its lips, eyes, teeth and skin missing. The first time I saw this video, it almost felt like the modern equivalent to a silent jump scare, I admit I was breathing heavily and almost let out a scream upon that sight. The camera was now even closer to its face, almost touching it, and it took me a bit of time to get myself together to notice a lack of the cricket and wind sounds that were now replaced by a soft breathing, and I am damn sure it wasn't coming from the cameraman. That was enough, I was about to grab the mouse to close the tab, but the video was now over. And as I sat there for a few minutes, my fear started to turn into curiosity. What the hell did I just watch? Now recomposed, my first thought was that it was perhaps a weird art project, but it looked far too real to simply be that. Not to mention the lack of name, description or date for the uploader and video, which seemed to be intentional. I wasn't going to waste my opportunity, given the graphic nature of the video, its deletion from YouTube was inevitable. I downloaded the video along with its thumbnail into my hard drive using external add-ons so this way it could be archived, and I'm glad I did, for a week later, the video vanished from YouTube. I was honestly surprised checking my downloads folder, and seeing a red moon emphasis on MKV, this meant that I had the raw and original file completely unaltered, if it were to be a compressed version, it would have probably appeared as MP4. I was happy as not only do I have the video, but its original file format, frame rate and bit rate. Long story short, I've searched everywhere on the internet using every tool at my disposal to no avail. 
I know I wasn't the first to watch it. I looked through forums, early social media, and found nothing. No one was talking about it. I guess those few viewers never made it through the entire video. If they did, this would have probably made the news. So I've decided to make a forum of my own to discuss this weird anomaly, attaching the video along with a text similar to what you're reading now, but many of the comments just said that the video on their side was completely incomprehensible. And I tried fixing this issue multiple times, first by using specialized tools in order to convert the video from MKV to MP4, not by just simply renaming the extension like some lazy people do, but it didn't work. I tried to screen record my desktop with the video playing, and even though my desktop was being recorded perfectly fine, upon playback I got the same results. I even opened the video on VLC and tried to take screen captures of it. Again, same results. At first I thought that the file had been modified or corrupted in a way that it prevented it from being shared, which could explain YouTube not including a channel name or date of upload. But after what happened with my final attempt, I'm convinced it has to be something else. I took my hand cam and filmed my desktop, transferring the recording into my computer, opening the LC and dragging the file into it and getting play. What came out was a garbled mess of glitches that went on for 4 minutes. I was scared. There was no explanation for the video's behavior, it didn't matter what I tried, nothing worked. After some time, I decided to drop the whole case considering how all of this research not only was getting me nowhere but was also weighing on my mental health. I eventually forgot about it after a few months all the way up until recently, when I decided to finally organize all the files transferred from my old to new computer. Seriously my hard drive is a mess, and I came across redmoon.mkv, and the memories flooded back like a tidal wave, after more than a decade later, it was still here. That's why I've decided to make this giant post describing the video in detail, I need answers. And I know I wasn't the only witness. At the very least, I could be given an explanation as to why redmoon.mkv simply refuses to be shared online. I really hope it's just a modified Matroska video file, but a faint voice in my head suggests it otherwise. Regardless, I am tired. There's nothing else I can do, just wait. Many people have asked about the JPEG thumbnail, which yes, I did download along with the original video. Given that it doesn't appear to be corrupted, I can upload it here without any problems. Here it is.